Welcome to Unfilter. We we'll make high performance EMI filters for many applications, most importantly for yours. Today we will talk about ground EMI filters, but first let's discuss why there is EMI on ground to begin with. No one puts it there intentionally. Every electrical equipment generates EMI, and a part of it leaks to ground via parasitic capacitance and coupling. Motors, power supplies, inverters, and so on are notorious for polluting ground with EMI. This is on filter patented ground filter family. We have models for many applications, but this video is not about applications yet. It's about filters performance. Let's get right to it. These two power strips are connected to different power branches in the building, and between these branches there is a significant EMI signal. Let's start with measuring high frequency voltage between them. Always be careful when making measurements on power and ground. To measure EMI voltage between the two grounds in the outlets, we'll be using our EMI adapter MSN15. It blocks AC mains voltage, provides galvanic isolation, and offers true balance input, avoiding ground loops. But this is for another video. We'll be using a digital storage scope with the output mirrored to our larger display so we can see better. As you can see, there is plenty of high frequency voltage between these two grounds, close to 6 volts peak to peak. It appears that the source of the signal could be motor drive, but this is not really important now. What is important is how our ground filters deal with it. What happens when these two grounds are connected, as they would be eventually, it is a safety requirement. A noisy ground will inject quiet ground with EMI current, which we can measure. We will use a special high frequency current probe. Don't use regular current clump, uh, it just doesn't have necessary bandwidth. If you are having problem getting such current probe, ping us and we may be able to help you. Peak to peak voltage is around 9 volts. Uh, meaning that the current is around 1.8 amps, it's quite high. The only reason the wire is not overheating is the duty cycle of the signal is quite small. But the peak value is quite sufficient for disrupting the operation of electronics and even damaging sensitive devices. Our task is to block propagation of high frequency current while maintaining the integrity of grounding. After all, ground is a safety element. We will start with GLV30-1 DIN rail mounted ground filter. It is identical in performance to uh, our panel mounted GLE30-1. Both filters have under 0.1 ohm resistance and are safety certified for ground connection for equipment consuming up to 30 amps. Let's see what ground current is now with a uh, filter in the loop. And let's magnify the scale. The peak-to-peak -peak voltage at the output of current sensor is around 300 millivolts, which corresponds to 60 milliamps. This amounts to reduction of EMI current of about 30 times or close to 30 dB. All this while maintaining integrity of ground according to the safety standards. In reality, the actual remaining current is even lower. We will explain why in just a couple of minutes. This is our smallest ground filter, GLE04-01, for internal grounding inside of equipment, such as ESD grounding. GLE04-01 provides even a better EMI attenuation. The remaining current is about 120 millivolts or 24 milliamps, resulting in attenuation of 75 times or about 37 dB. But the real performance of these filters is actually better than that. The common problem is that radiated EMI induces voltages and currents into instrumentation, which makes the signals appear higher than they actually are. It especially affects smaller signals. As you can see, there is no possibility of real current going through the current sensor, but the screen still shows signal of close to 100 millivolts or 20 milliamps. In the most simplistic way, we can simply subtract this induced error signal from signal measured above. This would give us attenuation of 45 dB for GLE30-1 and GLV30-1, and of 53 dB for GLE-0401. You can ask why can't I just use a simple inductor to block EMI current? Let's see how this would work. Here is a reasonable inductor 
as an example and will perform the same test as before. Uh, here is the remaining current with this inductor. The output of the current sensor is about 4.2 volts, which is 0.84 amps or 840 milliamps, close to only a half of the original current. Not quite sufficient. What if we use bigger, much bigger inductor? Would it do better? It might, but it will certainly fail safety requirements for ground integrity. Ground is a safety element. You don't want to mess with safety. On filter patented ground EMI filters provide good attenuation for EMI currents while being fully certified for safety standards. We have models for just about any applications. As a note of interest, our CleanSweep AC EMI filters include filtering in ground, the same as our ground filters. So if you want to suppress EMI not only in ground, but also on AC power as well, consider CleanSweep AC EMI filters. We have separate video for that. And that's the story. Thanks for watching.